Hey guys, welcome to BookTG. So today we are going to unbox Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Gaming Graphics Card. As you can see guys, here is our parcel. We ordered it from Vedant. So basically my brother bought this graphics card from Vedant. And guys, this graphics card has 3 years of warranty. And guys, the good thing is the graphics card prices are decreasing. And you will get this RTX 3060 in 44,000 rupees. Let's talk about the features of this graphics card. So this graphics card has 2nd generation RT cores and 3rd generation tensor cores which gives you a next level gaming performance and it is integrated with 12GB GDDR6 192-bit memory and it has WinForce 3x cooling system which has alternating spinning fans. These three fans gives you rapid cooling and increase the performance of this graphics card. You will get a RGB Fusion 2.0 with this graphics card. You can manually control the RGB of this graphics card. You will get a metal backplate which provides next level look to the GPU. And its core clock is 1837 MHz. Okay guys, let's talk about the specifications of this uh, graphics card. Guys, you will get two HDMI ports which is 2.1 and 1.4 two display ports. So the memory bandwidth is 360 GB per second and the card bus is PCI 4.0 and the memory clock is 1500 MHz and it has direct x12 ultimate and guys you can easily overclock this graphics card okay guys let's unbox this graphics card So guys here is our Gigabyte warranty card and guys here is our main attraction Gigabyte RTX 3060 OC Gaming graphics card. Ok guys let's unwrap this to look how the graphics card looks like. So guys here is our graphics card and guys look at the fan and the heat sinks and the back plate is really cool guys. Alright well, guys let's take a closer look. To install this beast in the cabinet, we need to discard the old GPU which is 1650. So let's uh, clean the motherboard and clean the cabinet little bit. Then we will install the GPU in the motherboard. If you install this uh, RTX 3060 graphics card, make sure you have 550 watt at least 550 watt PSU if you don't have one then I recommended you to buy a 650 or a 750 PSU for get a better performance and to provide a decent amount of power supply to the GPU and other components of the cabinet so now our graphics card is installed in the motherboard and the last step is uh, you need to connect the 8 pin power connector to the graphics card and guys the 8 pin power connector have 4.2 mm pitch and it can deliver up to 150 watts so guys the GPU is uh, installed now let's turn on the cabinet so guys as you can see how it looks like so it looks amazing guys the RGB in the graphics card is freaking awesome I really like the RGB of this graphics card and the transition in the RGB was great and look at this graphics card how beautiful it is as you can see guys this graphics card looks so amazing and it's freaking cool if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more video notifications 
and guys gives a thumbs up to the video and please comment down if you want to know about more about this graphics card and guys please give a feedback in the comment and please tell me how the video is and if you have any query about this graphics card please ask me in the comment thank you for watching this video guys and have a nice day stay safe and stay healthy